Yo, what it do? It's your boy King Hutch, and I just want to leave you guys with some words of encouragement. I understand that right now a lot's going on with COVID, social injustice, celebrities losing their lives that we all admire. But listen here. Every day that you are on this earth is another day for you to be happy. Don't let them tell you that 2020 is the year that you're supposed to throw away, that you're supposed to sleep, because it's not. Still go for your dreams, still conquer your fears, still try to learn something new. Every day is a blessing from God. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Don't wait for 2021. Don't wait for 2022. Don't wait for a pandemic to end for you to try to conquer it and go for your dreams. Because I guarantee you, when you get to the end of your life and you realize, man, I really wasted two years for a lot of bad stuff to stop happening and it never did. I wish I could get that back, okay? Choose to be happy. Do not let other people and other situations dictate your emotions. You can be upset about social injustice. You can be upset about COVID. You can be upset about politics, but do not let it ruin your day. Be happy, okay? Make the cognitive decision to be happy because if you let other people dictate, if you do any of this, like I said this because they said that, or I acted out because they acted out. I did this because they did that. You lost. You lost. You are not in the driver's seat anymore. If your actions are being controlled by someone else because of how they make you feel, that means they're controlling the show. They're controlling you. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't like being a puppet. I don't like when other people control how I act based on by using and manipulating my emotions. So choose to be happy. Choose to conquer your dreams. Choose to conquer your fears. Choose to make 2020 your year. It doesn't have to be, I, I'm at home all day. I'm going to sleep this year away. No. Be happy. Be healthy. Cheerio.